bring any tissue. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hi guys. Welcome to our regular Sunday hangout. How are you all doing? Um, we're not sure if we're lagging as well because our computer's been stupidly slow. So if we are, can you let us know? I don't and, know what um, we'll do about it. I don't know. But my computer is, is taking it ages is, to do things and it's it's it, running. It's slow. lagging for us. So if it's lagging for you, please let us know. And I don't know. If it's awful, we'll have to do something about it. Like what? But I don't know. Oh, we're frozen <laughs> up completely now. What can you see? Yes. Oh, yes, ladding. Ladding. <laughs> we're, we're ladding, Gary. Right. Uh oh. Oh yeah. We've got now... a spinny. We've got a spinny ball. We might crash. Oh. Oh no. This is not good. This is not good. It isn't good. Um. Your pipes look warm. Yeah. Nice one. <laughs> Your pipes. Look well, we'll persevere oh, for a minute. Now that it stopped spinning, it might have cleared. We don't want to turn it off and on again, though. That's the trouble because... <laughs> well, that takes ages with my mate. Yeah, and it will take about half an hour. And also, we've set up a load of sails to show you, <laughs> which could be a reason why we're lagging, because we've got so many windows open. We'll crack on, see what happens. It's fine now, says Chris. Good. Okay. Anyway, right, welcome. We, we'll persevere. Let us know if it's too bad. If you're new here... This sort of chaos isn't unusual. You can expect this. <laughs> I thought you were going to say this sort of chaos is not usual. Normally professional. Well, no. <laughs> yeah. If you are new, um, welcome. Good to see you. Uh, I'm Nick. This is my wife. Andrea. Uh, we are resellers. We buy stuff. We sell it, hopefully at a profit, uh, on the internet. And that's how we earn a living. We've been doing this for many, many years. Uh, this YouTube channel is all about sharing what we do and how we do it. Yeah. Um, the Sunday shows that you're watching now are just a chance for us to catch up with you guys, chat about reselling, sometimes chat about completely unrelated stuff. Sometimes we do quizzes. Quite often we do quizzes. <laughs> it seems to be a bit of a tradition now. <laughs> yep. Oh, Money Mentor saying it was laggy when I went live. Okay, well, hopefully that has cured itself. Okay. Um, yeah, I saw Karen was in. Hi, Karen. And she said, how are we? We're fine. We've Absolutely had a really fine. nice afternoon visiting family. And um, I'm, yeah. I'm going to scroll back. Lucy was first in, uh, along with Gary and Daniel. Um, we're reading from a live side chat. If you're new to this, if you're watching live, there is a live side chat, which if you're logged in on your YouTube account, you can pop in and say hi, ask questions, chat, all that good stuff. Yeah. Um, I can see there's loads of people in there chattering away. Let's say a few quick hellos. Uh, Annette is in, Peter Ray, Joel, Natasha, uh, Mia Mia, yeah. Stephen Bennett, uh, Leslie Narvison. Crap in the attic. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say Daryl? Daryl is in, Christine. Yeah, so, Claire Thompson, Matthew Lee. Welcome. Oh, George, George. is back from Hi, holiday. George. Welcome back, George. I did see just before he was saying he's exhausted. It gets worse the older you get. You go on holiday and you come home, you're knackered. I know, that, especially when you've got kids. <laughs> yeah, well, exactly. When we when we did Florida and did Disney, we came back. I was shattered yeah, for a week. We, we needed a holiday to recover. <laughs> oh, full on that holiday. Right. Yeah. So, hello, everybody. Um, as you may have noticed from the title, something a little bit different. We don't normally do sales roundups on our Sunday show. Yeah. We thought we'd but we switch didn't it up. buy anything this weekend, so I've got nothing to show you. Yeah. Um, and yeah, the week, you know, we share our week in our vlogs. So <laughs> that's not a lot to say. So we thought we'd share some sales instead. Yeah. We normally do these as a separate video, but we thought we'd do it live and you can ask questions and we can chat a little bit more in depth maybe about the item and and the sale. So that's what we're gonna do. And if we've got time at the end, we'll squeeze in a bit of quizziness, but I, I don't know. We'll see yeah. how it goes. So welcome. Let me get to the end of the side chat. Wow, there's lots of chat going on. Um, whiz, whiz, whiz. Wow. Still not at the end. No. Hey, Lex. How you doing? Hey, Chelsea. It's not letting me go to the end. What's going on? Are we frozen? Oh, have we frozen up again? Yeah. <laughs> Ellen's not we, on the internet, is she? I think we became... Oh, she's on Netflix. That might be it. But... I don't know. Right. She's often watching YouTube, though, isn't we? Yeah, but that's not helpful, because that's eating mm. up our signal, isn't it? Bandwidth, whatever you call it. I don't know, technical mm. things. 
Right. Oh, Darren's in. Hey, Darren. Okay. <laughs> Grasshammer said, this is the end. <laughs> end of what? Anymore. This is the beginning, hopefully. So <laughs> while we are still actually managing to live stream with our, with our hamster in a wheel internet, we will start screen sharing and share yeah. some stuff. We've tried to pick out stuff that hopefully is stuff you've seen in the weekly vlogs or it's stuff that we've shared in halls. So, you know, you can see hopefully when oh. we pick it up, when we talk about it and then when we sell it. Let me say hello what? to Willie who says, hi, Nick and Andrea, first time here. So, hi, thanks for joining us. Welcome aboard. So let me do screen share and get cracking. Yeah. Oh, this is running so slow. I, I don't hold out masses of hope that this is going to work. Right. Um, hang on. I need to switch that window. Bear with technical issues. <laughs> now, this one's going slow. <laughs> Nothing's happening. Maybe it'll quick speed up once we get rid of some of the windows. <laughs> yeah, don't hold your breath. Mm. Right. So, that one. Share. Boom. Has that worked? <laughs> hopefully it has i thought i'd start with this because we we shared this a couple of week, weeks ago in this show didn't we we did this was one of the things that we got from that van load of gear from luke didn't really know what it was um had some advice from some of you guys uh listed it as you can see as an ultrasound therapy machine for 100 pounds and we took an offer didn't we yeah. Like within a day or so of listing it. Um at 80? I think it was 80. Yeah, it was. So yeah, happy to move it. Um there were lots more sort of more modern versions of this that were going for way more money. Um, but this was a very basic, very old machine. Looks like it's from the 70s or 80s or something. Can we make that win that window smaller so we can see the chat? Because I can't see what people are oh, saying. Oh, okay. Yeah, hang on, let me move. Go on, you keep an eye on the chat. So yeah, okay. just happy to get it out of the uh, room. I need to make this window smaller then, otherwise yeah, I can't otherwise close. <laughs> Hang on, we've got to juggle windows. I'm going to shrink you guys. Right, that works. That works. So yeah, that sold fast. Oh, Neil, very happy. Neil Bodenham says hi, Nick and Andrea. First time here from Ireland. Hi, Neil. From Ireland, oh, fantastic. Nice. Good to see you. So oh, this is going, I'm trying to close this window now and it's doing nothing. This could be an interesting chat tonight. <laughs> Come on, you can close, go on. Go. No. Oh, 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 it's thinking about it. <laughs> oh. Come on. You can do it when you're being cute. Where, 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 where's the picture? There we go. <laughs> I'm just showing all, all sorts of personal information there. Fabulous. Oh, now it's gone again. Uh oh. Oh, this is falling apart. <laughs> Where's it gone? I don't know. Right, there we go. Right. Okay. This one, uh, I just thought I'd chuck in. It's nothing exciting. I know it's only media, but it's the sort of thing you would pass by. This is an explosive range, so budget range reissue of an old game. But it's sold within a day or two for $12.99. It cost me. What was media at that jumble? Three for a pound. And then later on in the day, it was four for a pound. So either about 33p or 25p. Just goes to show it's worth learning a little bit about computer games because they're such a quick flip a lot of the time. Simon Zodiac says, hi, Nick and Andrea. First time here live too. Welcome, hi, Simon. Simon. Yeah, um, <laughs> Charlotte just said, perhaps you have too many windows open. I think that could be a big issue. But, um, I don't know yeah. how else to set this up without. <laughs> yeah, Darren says should get quicker with every tap you close. <laughs> oh, it's it's now doing it's doing annoying <laughs> things. Look, look, it's doing. I had all of these set yeah. up as well. Yeah. Right. Okay. So this is one of your sales. What have we got? Yes. Here? So this actually sold either today or yesterday, I think, and I only listed it a couple of days ago. So um, yeah, pretty happy with that. Um, it's a large size, so that might be why it sold so quickly. Uh, the waist is quite large and they you know generally larger sizes sell a bit quicker but, um cool and you've done uh, that thing with your picture there where so for your main image you've got yeah three because images. if you just had a picture of the jeans it just doesn't look very interesting does it so cool um yeah i thought i'd put a little bit of a collage in just to try and make the 
image a bit more eye-catching and give a little bit more information. Fabulous. So where were they picked up? What did you spend on those? Um, don't know. <laughs> don't know. They've been sat in your um, pile of shame for years. No, I they? think that was the jumble sale last week. Wow. Yeah. So High five. They were a 20p um, jumbly. Nice. 20p into 20 pounds. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry this is going so slow. And I did have all of these set up right. There we go. There we go. There we go. Right. This now was this in is this in this week's vlog or did I put when I was photographing all this Who stuff knows? in the week Every before? Week rolls into the other. I think you might have seen this. If you do watch our vlogs that come out Tuesday, you might have seen me photographing this. And I said in that vlog, they're not worth a lot. I said people have been tending to get around 15 pounds, but with free shipping and it's heavy, so it went by Hermes. So you know after postage i'll get about 10 or 9 or something and then you've got to take fees out so it was hardly worth doing but it was part of that haul so we had it so i listed it and it sold within a day or two so it's not terrible in the end but there wasn't much money in it these things are really common i really liked it and it reminded me of my dad who used to have a lot of these in his shed with tools and stuff in as a kid um but yeah it's gone and i got what i expected um yeah yeah happy days um claire has just asked uh, what it says on my hanger and it actually says our ebay shop name <laughs> spoilers um it was sent to us by um claire borden um as a christmas present so yeah i've got a couple of those a couple of trouser ones as well which i love really love them yeah that was a really thoughtful present it wasn't, was, it? wasn't it um so here's in the chat hi to here he says, uh, would have thought an ammo box would be worth more. Not really. I don't know if older, I think older vintage ones and wooden ones can be worth more. But there was lots of sellers. I mean, there was one seller that had that exact size and shape box and had a multi-listing and had sold hundreds for like 15, 16 pounds each. Um, really common. I think they're still in use and production today. Could be wrong, but there's very common thing. Um Oh, Steve's in. Steve has. Yeah, full time Steve. <laughs> Steve is free. <laughs> free the Steve. Hi, Steve. Hope you're well. Um, so, um, yeah, this one was my sale. Um, I listed this, well, oh, not last week, the week before. And it's actually a child's dress. I think I must have had it left over from the shop, but it's been in a drawer for a while. And I hung on to it because it was jewels and I knew that that would be worth selling. So, yeah, fifteen pound for a, a girl's not age nine to ten dress. Pretty happy with. Uh, it's a gorgeous dress as well. Yeah, you, you know don't really do kid stuff much. I anymore, don't. Do I don't do it anymore. But I, I found it. I actually thought it was like a size six to eight or something. I thought it was um, like a little sort of tunic top type thing. Oh right, a small. And um, when I pulled it, it out, and then when I went to list it and looked at the label, I realised, ah, oh, it's actually a kid's dress. Cool. Well, it's so, nice to show something a little bit different, the, the dregs yeah. of the kids' stuff that, that we don't really do. I think really most do. of it's gone, to be honest. I hung on to that one, obviously, because I knew it was worth listing. Yeah. Oh, Claire so. says in the chat there, they are lovely hangers. I need to invest in some nice ones for photos. I'm using my best black plastic at the moment. Yeah. The wooden ones do look really nice in the photos. Hi, Shelley. How are you? Um, our internet is running painfully slow if you've just joined us so everything's taken ages to update and if we're lagging i apologize i thought i'd chuck this in it's nothing new you've all seen me selling duplo so many times um but i did share i think it was last week that we picked up uh, a box full of duplo in the charity shop i pulled all the good stuff out of it which i made little lots out of and this was the kind of bog standard stuff that was left i got 20 pounds free shipping on that stuff so everything else is just profit on profit on profit on top of profit <laughs> after this point. Um, but I love selling Jupiter. I've never had any problem shifting it. And uh, yeah, just listed it as job lot. I tend to count the amount of pieces just as a reference for the buyer. 132 pieces, 1.5 kilo bundle, gone for 20 quid, quick and easy. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to close this window. Come on. Yeah, Andrew, I don't think Ellen's going to play a board game on her own, to be fair. <laughs> well, it doesn't seem to be speeding up any, does it? No. Um, oh, I thought I'd alternate in between mine and yours. That's a mess that up. Okay. Oh. Um, 
thought I'd share this because um, it's quite a nice, there's, there's so many versions of Monopoly out there. Um, this is one that is worth picking up. I know a lot of you guys don't touch board games because it's not your thing. Totally get that. Um, but the Monopolies, actually, when you break it down, there's not a whole lot to check in them. Um, it may seem like there is, but it, there really isn't. Um, and that went for £20 with shipping on top of two ninety nine. So, And that went within a few days of listing it. Um, but m lots of Monopolies really aren't worth doing. There's loads and loads and loads of versions. They've made a Monopoly for just about everything you can imagine now. There's a Fort Fortnite Monopoly mm. based on the game, which was huge at Christmas. Yeah. And there's Monopoly everything and then it's probably a my little pony monopoly or something anyway uh that one is worth grabbing if you see it um dave said he doesn't think it's our broadband he thinks it's your computer he says how hot is the top of it yeah it's hot <laughs> yeah well uh, we've started now so we'll finish <laughs> I was thinking today we need to invest in your computers but yeah they are getting a bit it's old not and cheap laggy now um, right, one of yours. Yeah, I listed this at the same time as that jewels dress, and actually, it sold the same day. Um, so it is a people tree um, tunic dress, and people tree are an ethical uh, fashion brand. So um, it's environmentally friendly. They um, use fair trade. Um, it's a really nice fashion brand, and their clothes are lovely. If I could afford them, I would buy them <laughs> but um yeah i look out for it second hand because it sells well and i really love it so yeah not much more to say on that one happy days oh i've got the little spinny thing again yeah spinny, okay this spinny, spinny. this might have been a bad plan guys this is uh backfiring <laughs> yeah. my computer's not playing ball i should have shut everything down and started again come on you can do it yeah uh, is the sound okay though? Can you let us know if we're not like being all ju juddery and juttery, are we? Hopefully you can hear us okay. Right. This was listed on auction. Uh, I don't tend to do auction, but I have started using auction because we get uh, an allocation of yeah. free auctions. What I've been doing um, is trying to remember every week I... I move a load of buy it now things over to auction. I tend to just start them at the buy it now price. Some I've tweaked down a little bit, which I would normally do when I relist buy it nows anyway. Um, so this was started at sixteen ninety nine, which is what I was hoping to get buy it now. It says there are two bids. That was the buyer putting a second bid on right at the end, which is slightly frustrating because you know they were prepared to pay more, but it was listed for this price, you know, a week before. So it's like okay. Or 10 days before um anyway what it is it's like this little thing that you put on your wrist and then you get those three little covers and it makes sounds and lights up and all of that what are you laughing at i'm laughing at lex <laughs> <laughs> oh um yeah and it went international so this had 12.99 international shipping on i think it went to sweden one of those nordic countries i think or norway anyway Ben 10 stuff. Yeah. Happy days. Karen's trying to sell her services. Subscribe to me and I'll make you cake, she says. What? Just bribing people to subscribe. <laughs> I can testify that Karen's baking is very good. So, oh, I've you know, had some of Karen. It's worth the subscription. <laughs> yeah, I've sampled that. Uh, what was it? What was it we had at Christmas? It was um, shortbread. Yeah. Oh, that was amazing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, she, made, she made me some lovely vegan shortbread, which is gorgeous. Um, right. what's that it's a shirt um, it's a shirt yeah i just wanted to say that so here said he always forgets to use auctions even though they're included in the fees i too as well i really need to get more in the habit of doing that yeah it makes sense because yeah. it's like a free listing yeah and we don't use half of what we're allocated no we don't okay so yes yeah, sea salt i love sea salt as well um and that, yeah 25 pound for a top I, I think or did i did i take an offer on it that may have, may have been an offer. offer at 20 i think yeah i think it did um where did you pick that up then i picked that up do you remember when we went to high barnet mm -hmm. and we did a day of um thrifting with ellen oh yeah we did a video on it as well i picked it up on that day um so it would have it, cost it was you about, what? It was about two pounds i think i paid for it it was in like a, a discount charity shop 
Cool. So yeah. So not bad. Really pleased with that. A couple Seasol, of pounds into. Seesaw is another lovely um, company and a lovely fashion brand. So if you say you spent two on it, and if we did take an offer and took twenty, that's that's your kind of sweet spot, really, isn't it? That sort of money. That would be, if they could all go that well, we'd be happy. Um, right, I'm going to try and whiz through the rest of these. Oh, I bet as well, when we come back to us, we'll be all like um, out of sync. Oh, yeah, we will be, most definitely. <laughs> this is all backfiring. We might have to start yeah. a new stream if we're going to do a quizziness after this. Yeah. Um, oh, this is a, something a bit different. I thought I'd chuck this in. Not big money in it, but you may remember last summer I picked up, um, how many was it? 12 of these. No, I think it was 14 of these, but I'm keeping one. Your uncle's had one. And I've already sold one lot on, on this current run. I've sold another one. Um, they may look like they're a complete pain to package, but actually when you just put a, a strip of cardboard and roll each one up in a strip of cardboard, put them in a box and put some paper around it, takes no more than five minutes. Um, that's with free shipping, so there's not a lot of money in it. Um, but I was already in profit on this. I bought, I bought the 14 Stella glasses, all brand new and some uh drip trays do you remember those yeah. uh, graham said which pub is missing those ah <laughs> uh, yeah uh, i bought some drip trays and some beer mats and i sold those to a subscriber which broke me even on the whole deal so yeah there's money in it by the time i sell the last one i'll have made i don't know about 30 pounds on the one pickup so i don't know it wasn't amazing and they are a fiddle to package but it doesn't actually take too long touch wood not yeah. had any issues with any breaking yet claire says she's got two of those and she's using one right now oh cool they're lovely glasses actually or chalices as uh stella likes to call them did someone unsubscribe she says who unsubscribed <laughs> from who from us <laughs> don't know um right oh who's that glamorous lady oh well i don't know i, I borrowed her for the day um yeah so a uh, vintage shirt dress shirt dresses are all the rage this spring summer and um this is one that i picked up at that massive jumble that we went to oh yeah uh, that was near london um picked up a few that day actually and yeah it sold very happy and quite quickly as well i'm trying to scroll images and and the computer is refusing <laughs> to play ball yeah oh look oh, the hand on the hip pose back to you <laughs> you've even got like this this cool that, that sun was the, glare that was the walking past the camera <laughs> oh you have a you have a way of a time doing this don't you this is what you get up to when i'm in here working away well you know it was a lovely hot sunny day so it was worth um making the most of it so 25 pounds uh if it was from that jumble what were dresses there two or three pounds weren't they yeah it might have been about three pounds i think okay so still pretty good that's yeah. the sort of like i was saying before the sort of sweet spot um yeah these were interesting i think i actually posted this on instagram hey oh, check me out yes flexing on, on yes the, i'm on instagram it, flexing on the gram that's i have no idea what i'm doing there <laughs> but i'm on it um yeah something these these came from that band load of stock i really didn't quite know what i had but they were <laughs> lead crystal Stu what says i assume the heads have been cut off those shots to hide nick's embarrassment what i think that's a joke about you liking to like wearing oh dresses. yeah yeah of course that was me modeling the dress of course yes um, kelly he, um, nick taught me all i know <laughs> yeah i'm the model in this house um yeah so lead crystal uh tumblers i i didn't really know where to aim on this because they weren't branded certain brands i probably could have got a lot more um but these were unbranded they were definitely lead crystal they were really heavy really nice quality um i just kind of plicked a plicked a <laughs> plicked a fugger <laughs> plucked a, excuse me plucked a figure out of the air i went for 30 quid with 6.99 which covered the uh, courier cost so yeah just happy to get those gone again you you may kind of wince the thought of packing up six glasses but by the time you wrap them in a tube of cardboard you know just cut a strip of cardboard roll them up in it take that up and then pack them all in a big box uh with newspaper around there's very little that can go wrong again touching wood as i speak 
Michelle Latham said a square of black plexiglass is great for photographing clear glasses. Oh, OK. Yeah. I was quite pleased with that picture, actually. It worked well having one up close. Um, Graham says, question, Nick, seriously, what is Instagram about? <laughs> I don't really know. <laughs> I, I, I'm struggling to understand it at the minute. I don't get how to do stories. I'm not sure <laughs> I can be bothered with it. No. I'm just sharing pictures at the minute. I'm, I'm not very consistent with my stories. Now, th this goes back to when you were showing off your jugs. <laughs> was this one of your jugs that you showed off in a, it was. on a Sunday? It was one of my jugs, yes. Now, you were experimenting Kelly, uh, with... asks, have we been on the pop? <laughs> I'm drinking coffee. Nick's on pop. Or what is it? No, it's, it's grapefruit juice. Grapefruit juice. Mm. There's no vodka in it either. Um yeah, you were experimenting with like sort of art pottery, sort of, weren't you? Yeah, and it, they summer. were all worth picking up because I only paid 50p and yeah, did yeah. okay on it. I mean, it's not... But I don't think I would pick, I think I said this anyway, um, I don't know, at some point, maybe in a vlog. I don't think I'd pick up that particular make again. Yeah, it was purely but... kind of an educational thing for you and you really liked the items yeah. and you, you've sold all of them. Have you sold that little pottery pig as well? No. Oh, is that so we've it got one a, left? It does, does have a little chip in it. Oh. I mean, it's not an amazing sale financially, but it's just one of those things. You knew nothing about it. You liked it. You bought it and it's sold. Um, so. Right, Andrew, on Instagram, if you click on, um, if you go to the person's profile, and then click on the three dots in the right top hand corner. <laughs> um, then it should give you options to follow, to be notified for stories or for when posts go up. Um, so just click yes, you want to be notified. And then you will get a notification when somebody posts a story or when they go live. We just ka on a set of books for £20. Um, right. So... I'm sharing some of these. Now, I I've, I've, know I've been banging on about these recently, these big box PC games, but I don't know. This sort of thing really floats my boat. It's my kind of era. Well, it's I think this one was past the 90s, but um, they've sold really well, and they've all sold internationally. I think every single one has gone international. So they've paid a fairly hefty cost to ship international because we do tract and sign. So this guy, I think, was uh, somewhere Scandinavia again uh, and paid 15, I think, 15 pounds shipping on that. That's the longest journey and that sold at 35. Um, I think I might have shared some of this in the vlog, so I apologize if I'm doubling up. Um, these uh, went for the 39.99. It says free shipping there, but that was within the UK. Uh, these actually went to South America and they paid 20 i think shipping on those mm. so yeah uh it's well worth putting international on your pc stuff uh, that's missed and two sequels and one more quickly was grim now did they go south america it might have been this one that went south america grim fandango um i seem to remember that's quite expensive to ship because it was somewhere far distant lands Anyway, Grim Fandango uh, has gone at 40, or did I take an offer? I can't remember. I um, it may have been something a little bit less. But yeah, just worth thinking about. I know computer games to a lot of people, it's like I haven't got a clue what you're looking at, but it is worth taking a gamble on big box PC games. When I say big box, you can see the size of the CDs there. They came in an oversized box that was just ridiculous because the discs just rattle around inside a little plastic uh card sleeve inside the box um but yeah grab them if you see a stack um chances mm. are there'll be something valuable in elaine's there. already thinking forward to quiz and hoping that there's lots of food questions tonight food question well we'll see what we can dig up um i'll run through a few more quick so this now did i share this on the gram i don't know might have done it might have been in a vlog or a blog or something <laughs> um <laughs> This was just, I just think it's a cool little sale. It's it's two Lego tents. You can see one is set up on its base. The other one I've, is not on its base. And I think the other thing is like meant to be little sleeping bags, like a hammock or something. Yeah. Not really sure. Um, but eight pounds and it went as a large letter. So it cost me like 80p or 70p to send. So, yeah, mm -hmm. I still cool, pull out the, a few odd bits of Lego. 
you may remember I bought a massive haul of Lego about five, four or five months ago. Haven't sold anything out of that yet. <laughs> That's just sitting there. <laughs> but yeah, I thought that was a really cool sale. Really happy with that. They came with the uh, Indiana Jones sets, I think. Oh, and these were from the Jumble sale when we met up with George and Amy that day. I didn't buy a lot, but I picked these up. Um, they're like Nerf guns, but they're made of Kinex. Couldn't really find much in the way of completed, so I made up a price at $12.99 plus shipping, and they didn't stick around. I added in some, some of the uh, Nerf bullets that I tend to bundle with Nerf guns because they fit exactly the same. So yeah, not amazing, um, not big money in it, but they sold quick, so can't argue with that. Let's whiz through these last few. Ah, sealed media, love these. This was part of that van load. There was loads and loads of mixed sealed media, loads of tapes and mini discs and these obscure HP data cartridges. There was this uh, full box and a box with a few loose ones in. Uh, managed to get 45 pounds for that. So don't dismiss old, um, you know, this isn't quite obsolete, but I think it's getting there. Uh, technology because people have the old equipment and they they still have to source their uh, media for it somewhere so yeah that was quite a good flip and oh i think this is one of yours there you go yeah that's one of mine um quite a recent sale um i picked that up in a charity shop i think i think it might have been about three or four pound and yeah, it's gone for £25. Pound. Oh, oh, hang oh, on. Oh, dear, that's very, very good <laughs> <laughs> Steady on. Oh, the reason it says film noir is because that's what it says on the label. So I thought, you know, I put it in as a keyword in case someone was looking for that particular style. Um, Happy days. Yeah. So what did you say you paid for that then? I think it was either three or four pounds in a charity shop. It was after the um, jumble where we met George. Um, we went into town. Oh, yeah. The the day when George was buying up everything he set eyes on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, and this one I think I shared when I was doing the pictures again in our weekly vlog. Uh, and I was saying in there that these were tending to sell secondhand for about 20. Quite often when I do my research, I'll see what other people are doing. And then by the time I've spent time, you know, and a lot of care over the pictures and written a really nice listing, I then think it's worth more. So quite often <laughs> I will actually list it more because you've got nothing to lose. Oh, if exactly. it doesn't sell, I can then relist it at 25 or 20 yeah. and know that I'm pretty much guaranteed a sale. So I started it at 30 and it was on for days, like two or three days. Actually, no, it's been on a bit longer than that because it sold today. About a week this has been on. So, yeah. Um, Lex is on a um, mission to get everybody to sub to Steve. Go sub to Steve. Yes. I think um, Steve's in the chat. Yeah. Yes. That reminds me, Karen, you didn't remind me that I needed to um, talk about meetups. Do we? Yeah. So, Hang on. We're going to be back we, in a yeah. second, but uh, the computer's being a pain. There we now, go. Now, so can you tell us if um, we look like badly dubbed Chinese people? <laughs> <laughs> We will. A, we'll be, a, out, we'll be completely Jap out of sync. Japanese film. If it's appalling, um, we'll go and start a new stream and hopefully yeah. things will work. Go on, then you were going to talk about yeah, me. So I remembered, because I'm um, talking about subbing to Steve, um, that yes, Karen wanted me to mention about the Northeast meetup. Um, and I think I've got the details of it here. Way so, out. Appalling. Oh, is it? Oh, dear. Oh, okay. it's fine. Don't sweat it. Now not synced. Oh, no, it's out. Oh. It's shockingly out of sync. Okay, well, let me just talk about the meetups and then we'll make an, a new stream. So, yeah, the Northeast Reseller Meetup is on Thursday, 14th of March from 1pm. <laughs> <laughs> and it's at the lonsdale hotel all the details of it are on the tap chat um so go ahead and have a look at that um i think that peter ray has also got a 
an Epsom meetup, hasn't he? And the 23rd of March. I think so. All and the I details think... are also in the Tat Chat group. Uh, yeah. Link for that should be below. And then, of course, there's the Bristol one that we're going to, which is in a April on the 27th. So, um, yeah, it's meetup craziness. We're getting mixed signals here. We've got it's okay, it's fine for me, out of sync, totally out of sync like an episode of Monkey, and then Shell saying, it's all right, we just look slightly drunk. So so it's usual. We don't do these drunk, Shell. That's not what happens, honest. Okay, shall we Shall we start another one? I think we should. And hope it's working. And then if you don't want to do the whole quiz thing, which we like to do because it's our thing, and we love a quiz, you don't have to start watching again. Yeah, so if you're leaving us now, then thanks ever so much for joining us and um, hope you have a good week. If you want and, to pop um, back in and play quiz and try yeah. and win a uh, shed load of tap points, then we'll be back in five. Yeah. Yeah. Or less than five, probably. Okay. <laughs> well, hopefully. All right. <laughs> so thanks for watching. If you just wanted to watch the sales roundup and you're watching this after the fact, fantastic. Um, there is a quiz video on the channel apparently as well, <laughs> which you can watch. All right. So we're going to, we're going to finish this one here. If you want to, Come back, join in, quiz. See you in a minute. Bye.